that right there was a cat noir thirst trap video. And in this video, I'll be showing you how you can also make your own thirst trap too. To get started, pick out two subjects that you want to focus on. For my example, I chose a very messy sketch of Adrian and his alter ego cat noir. I don't want to get too in-depth with the scientific explanation behind how polarizing filters work with these 3D glasses, but to put it simply, each colored lens works as a barrier, and it'll filter out any color of the same shade projecting through that lens. Because we live in the digital age, we can simply Google image 3D glasses transparent PNG, find a nice pair, and download it into our device. You want to make sure that it has a transparent background for your convenience, but if you can't find one, just manually edit it out using your drawing program. Once you've done that, set the layer mode to darken. Next, we're going to draw our first character in blue. There's two ways to approach this. You can draw the entire line art in blue from the start, or if you already have a line art drawing from before, just set the layer to alpha lock and color over it with the color blue. And you can repeat the same for your second character, but this time in red. Once you've finished with the drawing, you're going to take the character and place it on top of each other like this. It doesn't really matter which layer or which color goes on top. Just make sure that the glasses layer is at the very top and everything else is underneath it. Okay, so the next part of the process is to take a purple color and use it to color over any part of the drawing where the red and the blue lines intersect. This has to do with more of the polarizing, filtering shenanigan thing I mentioned at the start of the video. I think since purple contains bits of red, it'll partially show through both the blue and red filters and since the layers are stacked on top of each other, the purple plays the role of filling in the gaps created at the overla uh, overlapping parts of the line art. And once you finish coloring in the purple parts for your drawing, you're pretty much finished. When you take your glasses and move it around, you should be able to recreate that 3D glasses effect on your canvas now. This is a pretty simple yet creative effect, and I feel like there could be a lot of fun ways to mess around trying this in different ways. But that's the end of this quick tutorial. I hope this video helped you. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to see other artsy related videos in the future, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!